Deep within the remote taiga wilderness of interior Alaska, winter temperatures can plunge to negative 60. The sun appears for just a few hours a day, and wildlife outnumbers human inhabitants. In the midst of these geographical challenges, a group of American service members works to defend the United States of America. Not far from Denali National Park, at Isleson Air Force Base, the men and women of the 18th Aggressor Squadron prepare U.S. Joint and Allied Air Crews for combat. Their job is to know America's enemies and replicate their tactics in the F-16 Fighting Falcon, ensuring that squadrons are primed to fly, fight, and win. Aside from air combat, the aggressors also train for test support academics, and feedback by creating challenging yet realistic threats. In this way, the United States Air Force can efficiently train against a simulated enemy. The 18th Aggressors, or Blue Foxes, are an elite unit and one of two aggressor units in the Air Force. Aggressor pilots, Baron controllers, and intelligence specialists must become subject matter experts in enemy tactics, weaponry, and employment. The 18th is the cornerstone of Eielson and provides premier red air tactics during the Red Flag Alaska combined operation exercises that dominate interior Alaska. While the aggressor aircraft with their unique paint schemes are now a mainstay of modern Alaskan military aviation, the 18th's history in Alaska begins before the state itself. In 1940, the 18th Pursuit Squadron was activated and stationed in Moffett Field, California with P-36 Mohawks. After a year of intense training, the unit was sent north to Elmendorf Air Base, Alaska. 20 aircraft were sent in crates by sea and had to be reassembled upon arrival. The strategic value of Alaska as a vital transportation route was already understood by military leadership and needed to be protected. In 1935, Air Force General Billy Mitchell stated, I believe in the future, whoever holds Alaska will hold the world. Now designated the 18th Fighter Squadron and outfitted with Curtis P-40 Warhawks, the Blue Foxes became the first fighter squadron assigned to Alaska. The unit was stationed at Fort Greeley and deployed five times, executing split operations throughout the state in response to the growing Japanese threat in the Pacific region. The unit persevered through harsh Arctic conditions, often living in tents along the makeshift runways. The airmen were on alert, expecting a Japanese attack at any time. In February of 1942, the 18th settled at the newly occupied island of Amchitka, a volcanic island at the southwest tip of the Aleutian Islands and the target of almost daily raids by Japanese aircraft based on enemy-occupied Kiska Island. The move proved to be a morale builder for the squadron. Just two days after arriving on Amchitka's unfinished airstrip and eager to join the action, eight Blue Foxes shot down two enemy aircraft. Captain Arid Clark recalls the event. Suddenly, the usual sound of men working was broken by the unmistakable sound of 50 caliber machine guns. We looked up to see a plane burst into flames. For a matter of minutes that seemed like hours, every man on the island was silently waiting. Then, from over the distant hills came four P-40s. The silence continued. A minute later, one, two, three, four more. A cheer went up that will never be heard at any football or baseball game. The 18th Fighter Squadron had never been a happier organization. For the next six months, the 18th Fighter Squadron performed non-stop operations, bombing Kiska Island with 206 tons of munitions while under intense Japanese gunfire. When American ground forces landed at Kiska in August of 1942, they discovered that the Japanese had secretly evacuated weeks earlier. It was an anticlimactic ending to the Kiska campaign, but ultimately, the intrepid flying of the Blue Foxes 
was the driving force which ousted the Japanese from American territory. One pilot was lost to enemy action and 13 to non-combat tragedies. After American forces landed at Kiska and explored the remnants of the base, they found a wooden cross erected by the Japanese next to a marked grave that read, Sleeping Here, a brave airman who lost youth and happiness for his motherland. July 25, Nippon Navy. That brave airman was Flight Officer Joseph Levy of the 18th Fighter Squadron, who was shot down in his P-40. Several more airmen would have been lost had it not been for the raw heroism of the Blue Foxes, like when two pilots jumped across a frozen ice floe to rescue a stranded pilot, or the maintainers who pulled unconscious pilots out of burning aircraft or when a blue fox flew 50 feet over the raging ocean to throw his life raft out of his canopy to his buddy who was nearly drowning in 20-foot waves of frigid water. During the rest of the war, the 18th also flew the P-39 Aracobra, the P-38 Lightning, and the North American P-51 Mustang. After the war, the unit remained in Alaska until 1946 to provide continued air defenses for the western coast. In 1952, at Minneapolis Airport, Minnesota, the Jet Age brought the Blue Foxes their first ever supersonic fighter, the F-86A Super Sabres. The unit was then redesignated the 18th Fighter Interceptor Squadron. Two years later, they upgraded to F-89D Scorpions and briefly returned to what was then Ladd Army Airfield, Alaska, to perform interceptor duty as a key component of the Alaskan Air Command. During the Cold War in 1960, the squadron received new long-range F-101B Voodoo supersonic interceptors and was reassigned to Grand Forks Air Force Base, North Dakota. Their mission was to fight and win World War III by identifying unknown aircraft and, if hostile, destroying them. The unit broke Air Force safety records by achieving five years and 22,000 hours without a single accident. In 1977, the Blue Foxes returned to their home state of Alaska as the 18th Tactical Fighter Squadron flying the McDonnell F-4 Phantom at Elmendorf Air Force Base. The unit was the first line of defense for the United States. Their mission was to prevent and deter an attack by the USSR by flying top cover for America. In 1982, the Blue Foxes moved north to their current home at Isleson Air Force Base and were outfitted with the A-10 Thunderbolt. The Blue Foxes then specialized in close air support of troops on the ground. In 1991, the unit was redesignated the 18th Fighter Squadron and welcomed the F-16C Fighting Falcon, also known as the Viper. After the Gulf War, the Blue Foxes deployed to Operations Southern and Northern Watch, where they monitored and controlled the airspace above Iraq. After the September 11th attacks in 2001, the 18th executed the Alaska NORAD Air Defense for Operation Noble Eagle. They deployed to Ahmed Al Jaber Air Base, Kuwait, to support Operations Anaconda and Enduring Freedom. The Blue Foxes provided close air support while in direct contact with Taliban and Al Qaeda forces. The 18th's bombarding and blitzing performance during the famous Battle for Roberts Ridge saved 39 lives. In 2007, the 18th Fighter Squadron was redesignated as the 18th Aggressor Squadron. As the Air Force's premier Red Air Squadron, the 18th flies enemy tactics against Blue Force participants in Red Flag Alaska. The rest of the year, the Blue Foxes travel throughout the Pacific Air Force's area of responsibility, engaging in multiple exercises to ensure that our U.S. and Allied forces are prepared to fly fight and win against enemy forces. While at home, the aggressors fight daily against the fifth generation F-22 Raptors stationed at Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson. The 18th seasoned pilots and their nimble F-16s ensure that America's Air Force maintains its dominance into the future. It's been 10 years since the inception of the 18th Aggressor Squadron. They have provided indispensable training for hundreds of U.S. Joint and Allied Air Force units. These airmen are experts in enemy tactics, 
From SARMs and intelligence analysts to barons and pilots, today's men and women of the 18th Aggressor Squadron more than live up to the proud heritage of the Blue Foxes who have selflessly served America since 1940.